Last time they were in town, yeah. you talked to Dwight yeah. Howard, and he said next time he was in Toronto, he would give us the impression of Stan Van Gundy. Now, you've got to go dig this one I know, up, I, gotta, I, I put it on myself. I put it on him. But Dwight, and, and that's part of his, his, his makeup. That's part of what I think makes him uh, the player he is. He's, he's always loose. He's not really uptight about things. He's playful. Maybe he truly doesn't understand the seriousness, although I doubt some of that. And he did say he does a Stan Van Gundy impersonation regularly, and I told him I wanted to see one. He said, okay, so I got to go track him down now. Well, Jones, you're the man who can get it done. <laughs> now, Dwight, last time you were in here, I asked you about you know, impersonating Stan Van Gundy, and it's not like you do it behind his back. I hear like you're like out there with it. Oh, I do it all the time. Well, you know what, and you promised me, so I'm gonna give you the mic, I'm gonna step out of the way, and I want you to give me, I want you to give me Stan at his, at his best when he's really upset about something and he's, and he's giving it to you guys, okay? <laughs> or, or, or anything that he might say that you guys will kind of laugh at later on. All right, here you go. It's all you. It's all you. Everything he said. <laughs> go, run, move. Ah! What are those guys doing out there? It's just they don't want to play defense. They don't want to run back, and it's just. Uh. You ever get on you? Dwight, what are you doing? You're not doing anything out there. Block a shot. Get a rebound. Ah! <laughs> you know what? When you're 35 and 10, you can laugh like that.